Well, hi, Jackson. Um, I'm doing this video just for you. Um, I'm a little tired, so please forgive me. Um, yeah, you wanted to know how to build up an LED matrix like I used on this clock, for example. This clock has a 4x7 uh, LED matrix built up of 5mm LEDs. So the first question you should ask yourself is what LEDs you want to use. Um, there are those 3mm LEDs which I have here in my hand. There are those 5mm LEDs which, la which are larger. But there are uh, small LEDs too. I have some, some very small LEDs around here. Those LEDs here, you see? Those are OH uh, small um, SND LEDs. Uh, as used, for example, on this grasshopper board, but LEDs can be even smaller, like like the LEDs which are on this board. Um, to show it to you, those are really small, and if you even if you want to make a few centimeters by a few centimeters matrix, you uh, uh, need at least a hundred or maybe even two hundred LEDs, and then it get it gets really hard. You see uh, this little thingy where my thumb is? That is the LED, right? That size of an LED. It's also possible to do. Um, well, the trick about building up LED matrix is, uh, or the catch uh, of an LED matrix is that if you have many LEDs, like here in this schematic, then you can't drive each LED individually because you have a problem. Uh, this is a microcontroller, like an, a small AVR controller, used to to control the LEDs. I mean, you want to display something like like a text or, or something, you know. If you want to display something, then you need to, you need to be able to address every of those LEDs in the matrix individually. But this uh, would require that for every LED you need a single port pin. So, say you have, like here, it's almost 40, uh, one, two, 7 by by 4 uh, uh, is uh, 20, 24, no more, uh, oh come on, I can't calculate today, <laughs> it's 4 um, rows, um, and it's 3, 7 um, LEDs, so say, if you have uh, this number of LEDs, it is not possible to use a single port pin for each of these LEDs. So, you have to arrange it in a matrix like this. So, and the trick now is um, that you have, y that you can um, address each column individually, you know. So, you use this controller, which is here connected by a low side driver. Then this will select, um, will output one row, you see. You can output one row at a time, right? And then with this, with these transistors here, you choose which column. Ah, uh, just sorry. Uh, with this, with these transistors, you choose the row, right? One, two, three, four. And every time you change the row, you change the output of the row here. So after all, what you do is you display a single. A row at a time, and then you switch it down, and you switch the next, and down the next, and you do this uh, so fast, fast enough, so that the human eye can see the change. So, as a matter of fact, um, what you see here is is uh, is every uh, row is changing, and it's it's happening so fast that you can see it. Camera see those things uh, because you see the distortions in the uh, here those. Uh, uh, strange strings here. Those are dist distortions uh, done by the frequency of the LEDs. You wouldn't see this with the human eye, but, but uh, as a matter of fact, it's that's the way it is done. And every great LED matrix is done in the same fashion. Um, the difference is that you can multiplex either the rows or you can multiplex the columns. What I did here is multiplexing the ro um, the rows. You could do the same principle with each, each individual column, right? And th those are the two methods to do it. Um, so what what it uh, boils down to is that you need only eight 
export uh, pins for one row or seven one two three four five six seven seven for uh, the row and then you need four additional ones because you have four rows so you will need four additional ports so it adds up to um, 11 port pins instead of say 40 so in this this is the way it is done. So what you will need is some sort of a microcontroller to do the trick. Mm, and this is a little harder to get into. But well, if you if you're really interested in such a thing, we could work something up together, I suppose. And well, maybe if you're really interested in this, I could give you uh, a start. And I hope hope this video helped you a little. And thanks for everything. Ciao.